You can't have both. You can't if have it is a welfare there government. There is a revenue loss. There is a revenue no, loss. It is because again in auction in 1994, we burnt the finger. Okay, we, they, they could not pay know, the then, money, therefore the switch over you know, to the revenue regime. You know, I, I, I want to come back to it. You know, Subramaniam Swami, are you, are you willing to concede that in the case of Raja, you still have to actually prove the loss? When you ask for sanction to prosecute as you've asked in the I, Supreme Court, you're going to have to prove I, I, exactly I, I, Raja's I, crime? <laughs> I'm sorry, you, have got, you don't know the law. The law is only requires me to submit uh, sufficient material to show there is a prima facie case on which the Prime Minister has to apply his mind and give a decision. The Prime Minister has done nothing of the kind. He has sat on it for two years. All these that your CAG is coming out with, I had your given, to, given to him two years ago. Right. So the issue is, only in the court these things can be proved. Right. And it's no use blaming the, uh, Mr. Manmohan Singh, because after all, he, there are so many sacred cows in the, uh, for the media in, uh, in the UPA. Okay. They are also uh, playing a role behind the scenes. Okay. You've got to take them also into account. After all, Raja is not the only one who's got the money. You know so many others have got the money and they, they are more powerful than the Prime Minister today. You know, let, let me ask that to Chor Ramaswamy. Chor Ramaswamy, while we target Mr. Raja, you know, it's obviously, uh, you know, seen by many as an institutional problem, a systemic problem. Do you believe it's fair to target Mr. Raja only? Or should, if at all, the investigation must involve all those who were beneficiaries, the corporates, the bureaucrats, the fixers, all of them must be targeted in this, if Manmohan Singh has to redeem his credibility. And shielding Raja is not the way to bring all, out, all of this out. Right. Prosecuting Raja is the way to bring all of this out. Do ra tackle Raja. Everything else, let, let all the skeletons fall down. Let you must do that. So much is being talked about the earlier licenses and all that. You know, when earlier the licenses were given, at one point, those who got the licenses were not able to pay the government. Right. So the government had yeah, again to issue. intervene and then that is the ask them to pay a percentage of the revenue. Right. That was the situation then. Now it is not like that when Raja was handling it. So you are saying there is a the difference between 99 and 2007. You cannot apply the rules of 99 Definitely. to 2007. Definitely. That is why I say let Raja sell his properties at the 99 right now. Will right. he do it? Well, the Prime Minister apparently told because him somebody this. somebody has told him. Uh, the Prime no. Minister apparently told him this and Raja did not listen to the Prime Minister, it appears. Yes. He has not listened to the Troy either. So much is being talked about the Troy. Right. The Troy had asked him right. not to do this. Okay. What about that? Uh, Mr. Ganpati denies that. Mr. Ganpati yeah. believed that Tri did not ask try, him that. Try time and again. There were five recommendations right from 2003 till date. 2005, 2007, 2010. In none of these recommendations that auctions were put off. The bottom, they made it very clear the bottom that line this is Please, please. The distribution of 2G spectrum cannot be done by auction. Okay. This is a clear direction from the Troy. And then what else the ministry will do? Mr. Ganapati, it has to go by the other regulations which was established right from 1999, which we have not violated at all. Mr. Ganpati, I am going to ask you the political question. Should it happen that the Supreme Court passes strictures again against Mr. Raja on Monday and the Prime Minister asks Mr. Raja to resign, will he resign? Or will the DMK say that if Mr. Raja goes, the DMK pulls out support? Is, is that at all a question of pulling out support to the UP on this question? Well, we are going to have both Raja and as well as the intact alliance as ever for If the Prime Minister years. asks you to, if the Prime but Minister no asks you to of make Raja... Imagining or presuming if, if, that if, if and only if. These are, the, these will, are all will, things hypothetical. You will not break this alliance if, if the Prime Minister asks Mr. Raja to step down. Well, 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 there is no question of Raja being asked to step down because there was no wrongdoing. By okay, him. well, the DMK therefore, is holding firm today. Appreciate therefore, therefore, there is no question of going further beyond whether the alliance will continue and all that. Okay. This is a hypothetical question. Okay, Mr. Ganpati. We say that there was no wrongdoing. You've said it. You've made your point, yes, Mr. Ganpati. we will prove it. Okay, you'll have to prove it. Uh, Mr. Ganpati, Chor Ramaswamy, Subramaniam Swami, Kiran Bedi, Jayanti Natarajan, appreciate your joining us here on India at Nine. Remember, it's the Prime Minister whose reputation is on test, no less. The man whom the country thought is Mr. or believes is Mr. Honest has to now prove that he truly is a man of integrity. Remember the question we've asked you, is Manmohan Singh's credibility at stake? Vidit has written on my Blaze page on IBNlive.com. A leader wins when he ensures that along with himself, his team members too are stainless. Unfortunately, in Manmohan Singh's case, that's not been true. For sure, question marks are now being raised on his leadership quality.